Soul Frame is a great game with a lot of things to collect and level up. Weapons, armor, new packs for new abilities, totems, it's just so much. But it's also very hard to understand where these things come from, how can you collect them, and how to get each of the materials to craft them. Because, well, it is alpha, so everything is just hidden. But this new website shows you exactly where to get everything, what you can get, and where to get every one of the materials in the game as well. So in this video, we're going to go through how this website works, and how you can use it to unlock everything in Soul Frame to be ready for the next update. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And also go to subscribe to Sarah Loves Archery channel as this is where I actually found out about this website. And honestly, it's the best Soul Frame channel there is. And of course, also thank you so much for the people who made this website. First of all, what can you collect in this game? You can collect weapons, side weapons that are called sidearms, leggings, curias, helms, totems, and packs. They're pretty self-explanatory. The armor gives you different stats. The weapons gives you different movesets depending on the type of weapon it is. And also scale with different stats. The packs give you different abilities and also different stats to scale with your weapon. And the totems are essentially there just to give you the stats that you want. Just another option for you to customize your character in the way you want. And they are all crafted more or less in the same way. You collect these little fragments which give you the recipe and once you find all the fragments for the piece you have to start collecting the materials and once you have those materials you can assemble it and get the item. You will require sometimes a higher level of blacksmithing in order to get it but it's very easy to do by just doing a very low level weapons into very high ones. But whenever you're actually trying to get your materials, it doesn't tell you where they come from. It gives you a description that's very roleplay, but that's about it. And sometimes you get yourself a fragment and you don't know where you got it from. So you don't know where to get the last one. This is where this website is very handy. You can just go in here, check, for example, Dead Red Drapery, and it will show you armor. And then you're going to go in here and try and find the piece that you want. There you go, Dender Drapery. You're going to see how exactly how it looks. And it's going to tell you where to get your fragment. It says right here, Glades of Adrian, Sandros Enclave, Dermax City, Hilly Den. You might have to Google where these places are if you don't know them and you haven't explored them in the game. But it's very useful. It also tells you what you get it from. It says Rare Chest and Dendro Chests. So now we can go into the glossary, go into Dendro Chest, as this is the chest that we are actually trying to get. And it tells you exactly how it looks. A medium to large size wooden chest with a flower on the top. So now wherever you go to these places, you can see, oh, we need to search for this particular chest with a flower on the top. Otherwise, I'm not going to get the piece that I want. Of course, sometimes you'll get different type of chests and you're going to have to go in here, click on them, and it will show you how it looks, where they come from, and the requirements for them to actually appear. It also tells you that you can get it from the Silent Rose Enclave, faction and then it tells you whether you can get it from a quest or from a faction tail and it sounds right here so you can just repeat it from silent rose enclave faction quest and you'll be able to get it or buy it from that faction vendor and if you scroll down it'll tell you also what materials are needed to be crafted it also tells you the base stats of it which is also very nice and it also has some special notes here in case you're confused as you can see right here it says can still drop from Rendendry Chest in the Glades, just like we said before. And then it clarifies, fragments are purchasable from Salandros Faction, just like we saw before. And can also drop rares in uh, from Rare Chests in Glades of Andrin. Boom, we know exactly where to get it. That being said, we still need to get the materials needed to craft. So we can go back into categories, checking for crafting materials, and searching for the ones we need here. I don't remember which one it was, but let's say it was this. And it'll tell you where you can get it. Overworld, Dermak Undercity, Founds in River, Common Chests, Rare Chests, Breakables, Flip Status, Enemy Loot Bag. And then here's some special notes as well. It also tells you where to get all the packs, all the packs that you can actually acquire as well, all the totems that you can get in the game as well, and all of the modes. I'll not recommend you to go and get any modes, or at least 
not unlocking them as the new system will come out very soon remaking the entire thing so you can collect them not claim them just to have them ready to claim whenever the new system comes but that's about it and this website also tells you all the quests that are inside of the game if you're missing one of them you can go do it right here and it tells you of course the entire quest line and a link to show you the exact location you also have the faction shops so you don't have to go in here and into the actual game and uh to the npc to see exactly what it sells you can just check it right here and here of course you have a beautiful extra to support the people that actually do this project and i heavily recommend you do it and i'll leave a, descript in a link in the description down below so you can support them as well but there you go it's a very very good website and it really just it's a perfect guide for the game so you can go and check everything that you would want to unlock in the game and collect it there's a lot it's kind of confusing right now because the game is just so free but man it's super cool i really would love and i'm not sure if this is possible if there's an api for the game but it would be awesome if you could link your account to this website so it will tell you hey this is what you're missing and you know you can compete not really compete but try and get 100 of the game just in this website i think it would be very very fun but if it's not possible it's not possible oh and i didn't know this but if you go to extras and then soul map you can click right here and it will lead you to this interactive map where everything is in the game if you haven't unlocked it, you can just check right here if you forgot about something. It's super cool. Please let me know if this helped you. I hope it did. And of course, go support all the people that were part of this project. It's a very, very cool project and I hope that it continues. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Go support all the people that were in this project. See you guys around. Love you all. Ciao, ciao. Oh, and of course, thank you for the people that actually made this website.